Hi guys, Keiji Richard Canton, how are you? 2nd of June, 2020, latest news. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so how are we all? So we are still in lockdown. Things are starting to ease, as we've seen down at Canberra Sands and all these places, everyone's out and about anyway. Myself and the other instructors who are here today up here at Eastbourne, we've, been, we've uh, completed our instructor COVID training which means that we're qualified in teaching within the COVID scenario of, of going back to classes. We've had to talk about what we would do, scenarios and all that kind of stuff. What we have also done, every single team member has actually, we have written plans of what we could do when we do return back to classes. What, what things we will have in place with regards to social distancing, dropping children off, cleaning equipment, allowing people to come in, not to come in, when we can start, when we can't start, what will happen if they don't happen and so on. There is still lots of ifs and buts. The number, but I wanted to sort of clarify with you guys a few things that we, what we will, will be doing and will be continuing to do from now. From now, for, for now, things are not changing whatsoever. On the 15th of June, I believe they're putting the next lot of announcements on. My guess uh, and what sort of you know, knowledge and guess is they're going to ease some more things for us on the 15th of June. I still don't believe that we would be allowed to teach classes as of then. The 4th of July is the next major one when they're talking about hairdressers, pubs and bits and pieces being opened up like that. So the 4th of July, at my guesstimate, would be the earliest that we would be allowed to return with provisions in place. Do I personally think we should return back on the 4th of July? No. I think we should leave it a week or two, see what happens first. Let's see what the fallout happens and let's see everyone else make all their mistakes, everyone else do all the things that they're not meant to do. We can then correlate all the information and all the stats, which is like Canton Martial Arts. That's how I could develop this system, is I've taken all the best bits from everybody else and I've made the best system. And I want to do this the same with Corona. I don't want us to rush in and be making lots of mistakes, people getting ill or scared and all that kind of stuff and go from there. I think what we want to do is wait off whilst Zoom is working well. It's not ideal, I know, but it's working well. Let's keep going and give it a couple of weeks. At, well, at the moment, people are losing interest. Children are losing interest. I thoroughly, thoroughly understand that. Why? Because it's not the same. We don't have that person-to-person -person communication. We don't have that environment, that feel. So if you have left in the last week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, or you are still training, either way, you're right to do so. Because some people you know, cannot train. Some people can continue to train. So our endeavour is to get back to classes, obviously, as soon as we possibly can. I've said it before, but no one wants to open up quicker than myself. But I don't want to open up just for the sake of opening up when people are still unsure of what to do in the future. So with that said, our plans still remain as per normal. June will run on Zoom for another month at least. We then evaluate and see how we go on the 4th of July, and we go from there. Knowing that every single one of us instructors have completed COVID training, we are qualified COVID instructors. Every one of us have done a safety, uh, a safety briefing for all of our dojos, so we know when, how, and what we would do if we open. Within that time also, we can contact the school halls, leisure centers, and all that kind of stuff, because a lot of these places are not even open yet. So we might be ready the 4th of July, but such and such leisure center might not be open on the 4th of July, and then we have no option. We would then continue Zoom classes. We would continue on running everything as per going. Someone said, what about the August grading? I think that's a problem I'll solve when it becomes a problem. If it means we have to do another low grade grading on Zoom, then we do it. But it would also then mean that I would be allowed to have to have brown belts come to the Eastbourne Dojo and do social distancing within the Eastbourne Dojo for brown belts and above to grade. But that's, that, I'll solve that problem when it becomes a problem. I'm not gonna worry about trying to think about that now, but I have thought about it now already.
already. So I wanted to make sure that you guys understand that we're preparing. We're not just sitting at home in the garden doing absolutely nothing. We're preparing, getting ourselves absolutely ready. Myself and the staff, we were here training today. We did 20 rounds you know, of exercise and sparring. We've been getting everyone ready. The Dan gradings are still going to go ahead in December. So you know, we are constantly looking at the government guidelines, constantly looking at the martial arts guidelines, constantly updating and making sure that we are as a team on top of everything that we can do to give you guys the best service possible. Uh, and just to let you know that we are wanting to open as soon as possible, but we will not do so with you guys with fear in mind and with the potential of any extra dangers or viruses or anything like that at all. All right, I think that's about it. Everything else is going wonderful. Zoom classes are great. The quizzes are great. Sensei Reese has got a film night coming up for the uh, teenagers. He's also, we're also looking at trying to develop a sports day. Ooh, on a Saturday. And something like Folkestone, uh, Folkestone uh, might be the red team. Canterbury and Ashford might be the green team. Uh, Hastings and Rye blue team, Eastbourne and Hailsham pink team or something or other and we do different exercises and we get t-shirts on and yeah we're thinking of as many things as we possibly can do to help this time and you guys as a family fly through at the same time keeping some normality with classes going forward. Just wanted to touch base, keep you guys up to date on our latest news, let you guys know that we are thinking about you. And we're excited to get back to classes. We're excited that there's light at the end of the tunnel. We're excited that we've got Zoom. We're excited that we've got all these things going on. We're passionate about karate. We're excited to be back in classes as soon as we possibly can. We will be there, all right? See you guys soon. I'll talk to you probably, give me two or three weeks and I'll do another update of what we're going from there, okay? Cheers, bye-bye.